Alrighty guys, so this week's You Can't Be Autistic Because video uh, comes from a question that I asked the Actually Autistic Asking Autistics hashtags on Twitter. And what I asked was, Autistic people, what is the number one uh, misconception that you wish non-autistic people understood about autism? And I see a disturbing theme in the trends in the comments and also in the you can't be autistic because tag people have this idea that autistic people are incapable of or deficient in slash lacking empathy Ooh. first just my initial initial knee-jerk reaction to this is it sounds really horrible and dehumanizing to say that an entire group of people is just incapable of empathy. Like how cold and nasty does that sound? Um, that said, there are autistic people who have come forward in the comments and said, yeah, I do feel like I struggle with empathy a bit. But what I've seen and what seems to actually be the majority, at least in people who have been commenting on getting into the conversation on Twitter, is that many, many autistic people actually feel like they have overwhelming empathy at times, or plenty of empathy, lots of empathy. Um, I've had readers, uh, you guys are commenting that some of you feel uh, empathy for inanimate objects. Like for me, when I was a little kid, if I <clears throat> like accidentally threw one of my toys off the bed or told one of my toys I didn't like it or want it anymore, I would immediately like apologize to it and pick it up and tell it I'm sorry and hug it. Uh, you know, same thing with the dogs like and the animals. For me, for me, uh, I just, I can't see or hear an animal in pain. It is so disturbing to me. Like it makes me physically uncomfortable and just, I, I just can't deal with that. You know, my empathy for animals is so incredibly strong. Um, and that's just my experience, you know, with empathy. Um, you know, I feel like, if anything, I feel things very intensely. And empathy is one of those things that can be very intense. And sometimes, you know, when people have very intense emotions, their response to intense emotion can just be to kind of like shut off and block it out and block it off. Uh, so I could see how, you know, if an autistic person maybe is having some overwhelming empathy and they're just like blocking that out and trying not to get sucked up in that where they could maybe appear as if they're not having a lot of empathy maybe. Um, or, you know, when I was young, I feel like empathy was a little harder than it is now sometimes. Um, you know, for example, some things like I have just trouble having empathy for would be like when someone does something and I'm just like, what did you think was going to happen if you did that? That doesn't make sense. Of course, you know, people get hurt doing foolish things. Um, so I don't have a lot of empathy for that type of situation, but I don't know if anybody really does or if people do. Um, I can't watch those compilation videos of people who are falling and getting hurt and I, I can't look at that stuff. It's just really disturbing to me. I can't, uh, when I was young I, I could watch like uh, Hannibal. I watched that when I was in high school middle school and it didn't bother me like really disturbing saw didn't bother me now as I've grown older I cannot look at like any show that has like surgery or needles I just can't even handle it now so that's um, just kind of my empathy experience and how it's like for me uh, and why I say that yes autistic people can and <laughs> do have empathy even if it works in a slightly different way. That doesn't necessarily make it wrong or bad. Uh, so this is my experience. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard this horrible myth that autistic people are incapable or deficient in empathy. Uh, let me know if someone has told you that you can't be autistic because, uh, and let me know the reasons below. Uh, I'll be looking at those for future videos. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to share if you found this video helpful and subscribe because I'm
out new videos every Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>